Angeles suffers from AIP, acute intermittent porphyria, a severe rare genetic disease. During an AIP attack, she feels intense pain and her movements are restricted. Until now, there's been no effective medication, but a new gene therapy developed within the EU-funded project AIP Gene could offer patients an end to their ordeal. Before the gene therapy, my daily life and routine was really hard for me. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't assume any responsibility or do any sport. I could walk, but any work that was physically demanding, I couldn't do. I wasn't able to live on my own. AIP is caused by mutations of a gene expressed in the liver. Under certain stresses, like hormones, new medications, alcohol and dieting, AIP triggers the symptoms. Currently, the patients are treated with haemoglobin and glucose, but these don't prevent new attacks. At the Center for Applied Medical Research in Pamplona in Spain, Gloria Gonzalez Azaguino Latza and her team have developed a new drug that doesn't simply suppress the symptoms, but fights the cause of the disease. This method is called gene replacement. A healthy gene is delivered into a patient's cell, where it replaces the mutated one. This is done by a special vector. In our case, that vector, that vehicle, in our case, the vector that takes the DNA inside the nucleus of the cell is a virus. This virus is not infective, nor does it trigger any human diseases. We use the ability of viruses simply to get close to the cells, to infect them, so that they produce the proteins we desire. The project partner, Unicure in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, produces the new drug. The chief scientific officer, Harold Petri, expects that after just one injection, the new drug should work for five to ten years, depending on the life cycle of the cells in the liver. In the first part of a clinical trial, which started in 2013, eight patients received an injection of the new drug. So far, there are no visible side effects. Angelis says that it's really changed her life. After the gene therapy, I feel much better. My daily life has a new structure now. I can deal with new situations and I can work part-time with some short breaks. In the evenings, I read or perform some small tasks. The success of phase one of the first clinical study indicates that within a few years, the new drug could be introduced to the market. Although Anglis is suffering pain from time to time, her quality of life has increased dramatically.